Hi, my name is Brian and I'm actually really happy because I'm shooting during daytime so that means I did something right with today. So I decided today I would talk about my hair, any hair again because that seems to be a popular topic and, you know, can help with this stuff. I actually spend most of my time on YouTube looking up things about hair myself so I was thinking why not just make content that I would watch myself so this is it. Just to kind of background my hair at this point, it's, I had this hair for, I think, the hair at the top, I had it for pretty much two, a year, a year or two now. Like, I had it slightly cut in December, but other than that, it was cut in March of last year, and since then, to now, April of this year, it's actually just been pretty much the same. Um... But the sides, I had them cut in December, I had an undercut in December, and I've just been kind of growing it out because I'm tired of the undercut thing, because it's just going back to that cycle, and I am kind of regretting it, but I would never say that out loud because so many people are against it, so I would never ever say that out loud. Today, it's, I decided I was going to talk about tips for growing out your hair, but disclaimer, First things first, this is not a video about how to grow out your hair. It's not about like what to use for your hair and what to take and medicines and stuff like that because I have no clue about that and that seems like it would take a lot more research than I'm prepared to do. Well actually I know something but not enough to make a video, not enough to put it out there into the world. But anyway, first thing I want to say is get ready for loads of bad hair days. For me when I had short hair it was fairly simple, like I, I literally didn't put anything in my hair. I had it cut very regularly, but not as regularly as other people do. But um, I was okay, I was just rolling out of bed and being like bedhead and it worked. And when you have hair like this, it's impossible to do that. So like, just get ready for loads of bad hair days and loads of days where you just don't feel as good as you look as good as you felt when your hair was short and it was always, you always knew that it would look good so you didn't even have to look in the mirror or something like that. Second tip is invest in some hats. I pretty much from, well, the whole month of December wasn't that bad, but from the beginning of this year to now I've been like wearing my beanie 20, not 24 seven, but as much as I can and wearing hats as much as I can, which has been good because it's been winter. So it's okay, but just wear a hat because it's just so easy. Like you just have to like put it on and that's it. And just, it's not even that expensive and compared to the amount of money that you could be spending with like products and all of that, it's actually pretty good. So just invest in some hats. Invest in a couple of hats because you don't want to have to be wearing the same one over and over again. One thing I have noticed, this is the third one, the one thing I have noticed is that be prepared for the products that you bought when you had shorter hair to not fit when you have longer hair. So for me, one big product like that was wax. I didn't really use it a lot when I had short hair, but I would use it every so often just to kind of like change things up and not have like boring, lazy hair. And um, so for me, when I tried using wax when I had long hair, it just kind of made the hair greasy. And because the hair was so heavy, it just, didn't do anything, it just made it like a lot greasier and I didn't like that feeling, like I didn't like, when you have long hair you do a lot of kind of brushing it off your face and stuff like that and you have to touch it a lot and I hate that feeling of like messiness and you know, feeling icky on your hands. What is this? The fourth? The fourth one is be open-minded about having different hairstyles. So. Don't go into it thinking, oh, this is the hairstyle that I want, because more often than not, you need a certain length of hair to get to that, and for that time till you get there, it's going to be hard. And don't, just don't get too, don't, don't get too tunnel vision-y on what you want out of the hairstyles. Just be open-minded, be open to whatever, you know, some days bedhead, some days put some effort. Also don't try to stick to the same hairstyle. So when you're growing out your hair and 
you notice that a hairstyle looks good, some set products, some this, that, that, and everything. Use that for as long as you can, but don't stick to it too much because when your hair changes even just a little bit, it kind of screws up the hairstyle and doesn't look right and don't, it takes a more and more effort to keep that look than usual. Uh, so don't get too stuck onto hairstyles. Number five, five. Be prepared for how much effort it takes. So it takes so much more effort than I'm used to. So like, I'm usually quite an early waker anyway. It's not that I, can't, I don't like waking up early, but it's just, I usually wake up a couple of hours early because I like taking things slow before I do anything in the day. But be prepared for how much effort long hair takes. Like, you can't just roll out of bed because when you roll out of bed, you notice that you've been sleeping weird or something's happened and you can't use the same products as you can when you have shorter hair. So it's not just like, oh, so I've slept on my hair and just put some wax in that and oh, it's fine. Here it's like different and, you know, just like I said before, at the, right at the beginning, you can't, bedhead isn't really an option when you have longer hair most of the time. Sometimes it's fine. Um, and then the sixth and last thing, I'm pretty sure it's the six. who knows, who let's hope, um, is stay strong. If this is something that you want and you've set out to do, stick to it. It takes a lot of effort to do it, I would say, because it's not like you just, it's not just growing out your hair, it's, you have to live with it every single day, so it's not like you just put on a wig or something and it's just like instant thing. You have to deal with it every day. So stick to it. It will be hard and there will be loads of days where you wake up and you're just like, oh my God, I just want to cut off. Like I don't want to have to deal with this anymore. And just, if you really, really want it, then remember that throughout the time that you're growing it. Also, there will be people telling you to cut it as well. That's fine for them to say, but it's more stick to you. Do you. If you want to grow out your hair, you do it, and it's fun. Um, I think I would definitely recommend growing out your hair to everyone because just just for the fun of it, because you don't get to grow out your hair and you don't know how long you're going to have your hair for, so why not try? Um, but also, an addendum to all of this, when you're growing out your hair, there is this kind of pressure to try to make your hair look good because you're doing something different with your hair, so you almost want to look good because it's different. People are all automatically going to look at you when you've had short hair for the whole of your life and then you suddenly have long hair. They're going to look at you and think, you want them to look at you and think that at least it, there's either not been any change or it's an improvement. You don't want them to think it's anything worse. So I would say don't be too fixed on trying to make it look better than it was. Because if you're trying to do that, then you could use a lot more heat than you should be using or a lot more products than you should be using. You could end up damaging your hair in the long term. So just focus on looking good every day, but try to not make it the biggest thing in the world. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. And if you like this video and you want to see more about this topic, maybe, I don't know, um, subscribe, and if you liked it, like it. And I guess this is me signing off, awkwardly. Bye.